Welcome to the Tuscarora High School Morning Announcements, your trusted source for school news. Good morning, Tuscarora. T-shirts, T-shirts, T-shirts. We've got T-shirts for you. During the month of October, the boys varsity soccer team will be raising money for an early detection and treatment of breast cancer through a local organization called the Hurwitz Fund. The, we call the fundraiser Goals for Gals. If you would like to support by purchasing a long black, long sleeve black t-shirt uh, as pictured or pledge a monetary amount per goal scored, please swing by A210 during your lunch shift and see Coach Nepper. Shirts are $25 and you can pay with cash or a check made out to Tuscarora Boys Soccer. To learn more about the Hurwitz Fund, visit the link on screen. Senior shirts are now for sale. Go to the link on screen to purchase yours for $20. The deadline is Friday, October 20th. Seniors, if you haven't scheduled your senior portrait, you need to do so now. Tomorrow is the last day that they will be there. Go to the link on screen uh, and set up a time. Now to Tony with the weather. Thank you. Today will be another beautiful day with a high of 69 and a low of 43. Our skies will be partly cloudy and there should be a cool breeze all day long. Our golf team will be headed up to Gettysburg National at 2 o'clock today. The boys soccer team will be hosting the TJ Patriots, and volleyball will also be hosting TJ starting at 5.30 tonight. That's all for weather and sports. Back to you, Steven. It's the semifinals for Fat Bear Week. Yum. We are down to just four contestants. In our quarterfinal round, we say goodbye to some big bears, but now the decisions get even harder as these sleepy bears have never been bigger. In today's matchups, we will be voting between Brian Bearlacker versus William the Fridge Perry and Walter Payton versus Tyler Tyson Bagent. Gay are voted to see the bears that you want to see in the final round. Stick around for a few special announcements. That's all for the day. I'm Steven, signing off. see footage from the relay race from the pep rally last Friday and here comes Miss Smith coming in hot and oh there she goes she's going down we're gonna have to get a closer look at that slow things down a little bit here she comes and oh wait is that a premature bat spin from Mr. Miller? Is that what took her out? Let's zoom in a little bit further and let's see. There he is, there comes Miss Smith. And that is it, folks. We have a premature bat spin that took out your principal. Only one thing we can say to all that. Come on, man. All right, so who am I here with today? I am Mr. Coates. All right, Mr. Coates, what do you do here at Tuscarora High School? I am a special education co-teacher and case manager, and I coach wrestling and unified track. Why did you decide to start a girls wrestling team? Um, girls wrestling is the fastest growing high school sport currently. Really? Um, yeah, and if we, don't, if we don't get with the program, we're going to get left behind. Um, so I've been really bothering a lot of people in the hallways. And I don't think I don't think there's a kid at this school who hasn't seen me ask someone to join the wrestling program or oh, has been me. asked. Uh, yeah, but I know. 
<laughs> I apologize, but it's, you know, I'm trying to build a program. Have you coached girls wrestling before? I've coached girls on the boys team before, but I haven't had enough girls to separate it out. Um, mm-hmm. And I think we're going to have enough. We could always use more. We always need more <laughs> girls and guys to join the wrestling team. Um, but it is going to be its own entity. We're going to have pra- separate practices, separate matches, separate mm-hmm. tournaments, things like that. Like the girls will not have to wrestle boys anymore. There's enough girls throughout the area and throughout the state that we can we can find it. And was you made it clear that anyone and everyone to join wrestling. So why do you think everyone can? Um, you are always against somebody who is your size. Um, there's no chance that you're going to get blindsided by anything. I mean, if you're not paying attention during a match, it's it's really difficult not to pay attention because just you versus somebody else right across from you. Um, and you can always there. Let me tell you something. Nobody is the worst person in the world at wrestling. So you can always find somebody to beat and nobody's the best. So somebody can always beat you. Who's better though? You or Damali? Um, it depends on if it's street rules or wrestling <laughs> rules. <laughs> That's good. That's all the questions I have for you today, coach. Hey, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure with you.